Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be really quick and I just wanted to give you an exciting update. So we have been working on this for some time now and I didn't think it'd be ready anytime soon which is why I haven't mentioned it in my previous videos. But now it's done and it's finally here, I just wanted to let you know ahead of the new year. So our 2023-2024 landscape planner bundles now include planners that link to Google and Apple Calendar and I'm going to show you how this works. So here I'm using my iPad and on the planner builder page you will see this option to choose either Google or Apple Calendar. If you're using Apple Calendar all you need to do is tap on this link to set up the connection between your planner and Apple Calendar and then you can build your planner as usual. The links are on the daily layout pages and you can navigate to them using the monthly view or you can use the year overview. On the daily page you can tap on any of these time slots and a pop-up message will appear so just tap yes and this will open up the schedule panel to the exact time and date. You do have to type or write in the event yourself and I recommend using the lasso tool to select and copy your handwriting and then you can tap into the schedule panel and this allows you to paste in the event and it will automatically convert it into text. Then you can change the default notification settings if you want to do so and then just tap on add to create the event in your apple calendar this feature doesn't let you sync between your planner and your calendar however it does make it really convenient to create new calendar events and reminders based on what you have in your digital planner because it can open up directly to the correct time and date so this is the half hourly schedule so the schedule slots in apple calendar are also half hourly our planner bundles have different daily layouts and this is a different one with hourly slots. So when you open up the Apple Calendar schedule panel, the time slots here are also by the hour. If you want to create an all day event, you can just tap on the date and this will open up an all day event schedule panel. Some of the daily layouts don't have time slots. So with these layouts, only the date is linked to the Apple Calendar for creating an all day event, but you can change the time slots yourself if you want to create a specific time slot. On the iPad, you can also use Google Calendar. Just make sure to choose the correct option when you build your planner. Over on my Samsung tablet, the process is even easier. You don't need to set up anything and the planner is ready to be used as soon as you've created it. Here I have the planner in Penly app. And just to mention that these planners are separate to the ones that come with Penly app, the default planners in Penly don't link to Google Calendar since they are undated and reusable. So on the daily page, you can tap on the time slots and this will open up the Google Calendar schedule window to the exact time and date. Once again, you do have to type in your own event name because that info doesn't get pulled over from your planner. On Samsung, you can also open up a split screen view and this allows you to open Google Calendar in the other window. This feature is only available in the dated planners, of course, and if you have already started setting up your 2023 planner and you want this functionality, I'm afraid you do have to create a new planner file. If you already have our 2023-2024 planner bundles, you can find this as a completely free update. Otherwise, I'll link to our planner bundles in the description if you want to check those out. This feature is only for the landscape planners at the moment, but we will be adding it to the portrait planners very soon. Anyways, let me know what you think of this new feature in the comments. Do you like it? Do you think you'll be using it? Give the video a thumbs up, check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.